Today we're going to be checking out the Falcon 20, a macro keyboard that features 20 fully programmable RGB keys. I have a lot to say about this one, so stay tuned. Welcome to Top Spec, your one-stop shop for tech content. Before we start today's video, let me clarify something. I have a pretty positive relationship with Max Keyboard, the manufacturer of today's video, but they did not pay us to make this video. So this video is not sponsored, I will still be giving my honest opinion, but we were sent the product for free. However, I have bought products from them before, like the PBT keycaps I showed off in my review of the Razer Black Widow Lite, and I've contacted their support team before and had very positive experiences. So long story short, I like this company a lot and it's not only because they sent me a free keyboard. Anyways, let's start the review. As the name implies, the star of the show of the Falcon 20 are the 20 reprogrammable macro keys. My specific configuration uses Cherry MX RGB speed switches, uh, but there's actually 10 different switch options, so there should be more than enough choices to make everybody happy. The speed switches I have are linear, have an actuation force of 45 grams, are smooth, and have no tactile bump. They're also fairly quiet for being fully mechanical switches, and O-rings were included in the box if you're that type of person. Here's a quick typing test. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what these switches are like. Moving on from the key switches, the Falcon 20 can be connected to your computer via a micro USB cable that can plug in either at the top or the side of the device. This is actually a really cool feature because it means that you can actually use the keyboard completely sideways, which might be better suited to your workflow. By the way, the cable is included in the box and it's nothing special, but nothing particularly bad about it stuck out to me. One more thing I'd like to mention are the two rubber feet that are included in the box. You can attach these to the keyboard to change the angle of it, which is pretty nice. Uh, but they don't do a great job of preventing it from sliding around in my experience. But maybe I'm just spoiled by how little my Black Widow light moves around. Either way, let's move on to the build quality. As far as I'm aware, every device that Max Keyboard ships out is hand assembled and it shows in the Falcon 20. The keyboard is really well put together, features a mix of plastic and metal parts, and overall I was really impressed by the build quality. I don't have a ton to say about it other than that, uh, the only thing that weirded me out at first was the switch on the side of the device. I quickly found out that its purpose is to select which micro USB port you're using, the one on the top or on the side, uh, but it's pretty recessed so you'll need to use a paperclip or a pencil or something like that to access it. Regardless, it's not a huge issue considering you're going to pick one USB port and likely stick with that one, uh, so you should only need to access this switch once. Anyways, that's all I really have to say, let's move on to the software. The software that the Falcon 20 comes with is loaded with features, so I'm not going to be able to touch on everything that you can do with it today, Max Keyboard already has a video on that, but I am going to touch on some highlights. Beyond reprogramming all of the keys, a few cool things that allows you to do are customize the lighting to your heart's content, and create up to 5 layers of macros. This means that you're essentially able to program up to 100 macros even though the keyboard only comes with 20 keys. One parallel I can't help but make is that this all seems really reminiscent of the Elgato Stream Deck, which essentially has infinite layers of programmable keys given the fact that you can make folders within folders of macros. But in my opinion, 5 layers should be more than enough for this little keyboard. I doubt that anyone can remember more than 100 macros. The last thing I want to touch on with this feature is that you can actually configure the software to automatically switch to a certain layer when you open a certain program. This means that you could use the keyboard as a standard numpad at all times until you happen to open up a program where you've specified certain macros. Pretty damn cool. Before I give my final consensus on the Falcon 20, let me briefly go over a few applications for a macro keyboard. In CSGO, you can save loads of time by setting binds for purchasing certain loadouts of guns. I've played the game for over a thousand hours, so I'm certainly in a position to tell you 
that it would have been pretty cool to just reach over to a macro keyboard and automatically buy my layouts. One thing I should mention is that if you're interested in this specific use case, Max Keyboard actually does custom keycap printing for pretty reasonable prices, uh, so I would go check that out if you're interested in that. They sent us a bunch of samples, they were all super high quality, and some of them even had color. In OBS, you can bind all sorts of shortcuts to a macro keyboard starting your stream, pausing your stream, muting a mic, etc. We likely could have benefited from all of these when we were doing our Half-Life Alex streams, uh, so I think this is a very valid use case. You can use Auto Hotkey along with FL Studio to circumvent the variety of multi-key shortcuts that can easily be bound to one key. I've made it no secret on this channel that I'm into music production, so this use case really applies to me. Now I'm not really a massive video editor, that's Chris, uh, but from what he's told me, Premiere would highly benefit from using a macro keyboard. Again, paired with Auto Hotkey, there's really an infinite amount of possibilities. Case in point, Terran from Linus Tech Tips. Anyways, that was my last example, but there's hundreds of other use cases, so if you feel like I missed something, feel free to leave them down below. On to the final consensus. There's no way of getting around this, the Falcon 20 has a hefty price tag of $70. But macro keyboards are niche products. You're not going to find too many other fully programmable keypads that target this price point and have features such as full RGB and dual micro USB ports. So if you're on the lookout for a no compromises macro keyboard, I could genuinely recommend the Falcon 20 to you. I know a number of people that could easily make use of a macro keyboard like this, and you might be one of them. However, if $70 is too much for you, they also have a $50 DIY version, uh, so if you're fairly handy and you know how to solder, that might be worth checking out. Anyways, that's all I have to say about the keyboard. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If this is your first time here, I'm Aaron, one of the three hosts here at Top Spec. We make weekly videos about anything tech related that interests us, and I'm sure that there's other videos on this channel that'll be right up your alley. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave a like and check out our ever-growing library of videos. That's all for today though. We'll see you next week.